Hey baby lions! So today I'm going to be talking about romance in Magic the Gathering and not the type that you believe I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the Magic the Gathering, Gathering movie which we honestly have not heard very much from and I'm kind of surprised because it's 2015. Uh, we have not heard very much in about you know like casting or what the plot is going to be or even what plane it will be on or very little information about the movie considering that I uh, I believe it's supposed to be released this year um, if that's correct someone correct me if I'm wrong but in 2015 there's supposed to be a magic movie probably towards the end of December sometime but uh, the, what I'm talking about today is the need for romance in Magic the Gathering and a lot of you guys are going to be like MTG Lion you're so ridiculous what does this mean but Follow me on this. Twilight, um, what's that other? Harry Potter, um, Twilight, Harry Potter, Hunger Games, all of these different blockbuster movies have had romances in them. And now you might say, oh, well, not every movie has it. Transformer doesn't have it. Yes, it does. Um, what's that other? Every single movie. Every Pixar movie has like tons of it, and Disney movie especially has like a romance element to it. But Magic the Gathering has just lacked this romance element for a very long time. And you know, I have not watched or read the book Fifty Shades of Grey. In fact, I confused that book with um, this Grey Dorian or Dorian Gray. I was like, oh, cool, they're making a remake of that movie. And I was like, wait a second, this doesn't look like the book I read in like high school. But I have not watched that movie. But females love it. They love it. Like they've read the book, they watched the movie, my female friends all are going to see the movie. I don't know one female friend at this moment who has not seen the movie and that includes Facebook where I have 2,700 friends. Like all I see is, oh cool, cool. Like yeah, yeah. Like blank blank, this movie is awesome. Um, Yes, so what's happening here is part of the problem of why I feel like there's a disconnect between the female audience and female Magic the Gathering or potential female Magic the Gathering audience is because there's no romance and that's not to be, I'm not like putting gender roles, I'm just saying that everything in every movie I've ever watched, even the dumbest movie like what's Bear Fest had like a romance element plot to it. I have never seen a storyline with less of a romance than the current Planeswalkers. Like what Planeswalkers is in a relationship with another Planeswalker. They pretty much just do whatever they want and the closest thing to a romance honestly is a Johnny and Elspeth and that's ridiculous when you think about it. Like what other Planeswalkers are you know, Liliana and Group, that's not really a romance, like, and, no, I cannot imagine that being portrayed positively as a romance of some type. Uh, Liliana, Jason, and One Page, I mean, Chandra and Gideon, Gideon's like, hey, I'm gonna push you in this fire, it might kill you, but hey, let's do it. <laughs> like, uh, I, the best storyline I've ever had, uh, read about was the Wetherlight storyline. When you had Hannah and Jared, and then you had the crew, and Selena and Kovax, that was a great romance storyline, by the way. I am concerned that the movies about planeswalkers, this romantic element which attracts both males and females to movies, will not exist. Because it does not exist in the plots. And when you look at Harry Potter, is Harry Potter about romance? No. But are there particular chapters where it's all about Ron and Hermione and, you know, what's the other girl's name, and Harry, and this and that. Yes, I mean, I enjoy watching that too. I do, like, that's like, oh, cool, subplot. But magic just doesn't have any romantic elements in it. Like, I don't know. I cannot put two planeswalkers together and say, uh, be it male, female, male, male, female, female, in any combination, lion, male, lion, female. I cannot put any combination of planeswalkers together which would make a good romantic storyline. Uh, first of all, Liliana is like apparently 200 years old. So that's can you know, that's an interesting romance I guess if you pair it up with anyone. Uh, Johnny's a lion. 
that complicates things. Ausbeth is dead. Jace is like a contract now or something. <laughs> like he's a piece of paper. <laughs> I don't know what he is. Um, who do we have left? Chandra, like what? where did Chandra go? Like honestly, where did she go? Like I don't know what happened to her. Uh, and then Garuk is apparently hunting planeswalkers right now. Like all planeswalkers. Uh, Shao Kahn is, no, he's, he's doing Shao Kahn stuff. Ugin's a dragon. Nicol Bolas is a dragon. I, I don't know. Maybe in the comments below, leave me your combination of uh, a romantic story. I do, I personally feel it is important for the Magic movie to have some type of romance element. Not like as the main idea, but as... You know, like just a, like any Pixar movie or any um, Transformer movie, like any, even Michael Bay movies, even Michael Bay movies have romantic elements in them. I just don't, I just cannot combine the Planeswalkers in any combination where I'm like, oh, oh that would make a good romantic story. Bye guys.